Hi everybody! Hi. We're here on Fun Friday and we're really excited to share with you guys um, the unit study we've been working on on butterflies. And so we're going to share a few of the projects that we've been doing this week and we're going to start by sharing this fun art project that we that we did. This initially came out of a kit, but you totally don't need the kit. We're going to tell you about how you can make this easily with stuff you already have at home. And uh, we'll let the kids tell you a little bit about what this is, and then I'll tell you how to make it in just a minute. All right, Melissa, you want to tell them about what this is? All right. Oh. So hi, guys. This is a life cycle of a butterfly. So, so there's an egg on a leaf, and then the there's a caterpillar inside the egg, and then he eats his way out of the egg, and he eats his way out of the leaf, and then he spins himself into a cocoon, and then a butterfly comes out. Yay! And that's awesome. the life cycle of a butterfly. Oh, and also to tell you guys, it's just like they drink nectar just like they do, but butterflies don't sting. <laughs> that's true. Very good. And Soraya likes to tell the story also, so we'll give her a chance to tell okay. the life cycle. Once upon a time, there was a butterfly, and she laid the egg, and then he was she was okay. in the egg, and she ate all the way out of the egg, and then he she yum, 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 and he decided to go in this cocoon. So he and made it, and then went inside. He went inside. Oh. And then out came a beautiful buddy fly. Yay! Awesome. Well, you guys did a good job telling about the life cycle of a butterfly. So I will just talk really quickly about um, how we made this because it was really simple and fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you guys really quickly um, how easy this is to make. All you need are some acetate sheets like this right Whoa. here. And what you probably want to do is start by cutting out a template shape like this. Um, you will be able to get three um, good sized leaves like these, excuse me, sorry, out of one eight and a half by eleven sheet of acetate. And all you're going to do is you're just going to take, uh, so you need some tissue squares. Um, we just had light green and dark green and all you're going to do is lay a thin glaze on top, lay your tissue squares down and then another um, thin glaze on top, just like you're doing decoupage and you just let that dry. As soon as it dries, you just flip it over, exacto knife, just trim it, really easy. Super fast, super easy. And then for the cocoons, the kit came with this cardstock sort of thing with tabs that you had to like form into a tube and it took, um, it was a little bit unnecessarily <laughs> time consuming. And so what we found works much easier and quicker, and we actually like this a lot better. And we started with a paper towel roll and just cut the tube in half, trimmed it down a little bit, and um, for the kit, they gave uh, provided yarn to wrap, um, which would work fine if you want to use that. But you could use jute, twine, um, and we used raffia for this one, and actually we like the look of it. We think it looks a little more natural. Um, so if you have any of this laying around, this stuff will work, um, I think, for that that that? And Oh yeah, we'll tell about that in a second. And for the butterflies, all that is, is a piece of um, it's a clip art. That's and called raffia. We started with a um, a nice one with nice lines for them to color, and just cut it out. Um, if you uh, if you prefer to use something other than paper, if you feel like it's too flimsy or if it you know it rips, but my kids really liked it because they like the busy coloring part of it. But if your kids mm -hmm. don't like to color, you mm -hmm. could use felt or something else, like what we did here. If you can see. But we made, um, calling, I just started with a simple template out of cardstock and then I just fussy cut it out of the base felt and then I wasn't going to fussy cut all of the smaller shapes. And coloring and is fun, side. anyway. Yeah, coloring is fun. Um, just, so what I used for the, um, the mm -hmm. inside shapes was my die cut machine. Mm -hmm. You need mm -hmm. um, steel roll dies to cut through felt mm -hmm. and I cut out a lot of different mm -hmm. ovals and circles for them and then we found a fun little pattern that we thought looked cute mm -hmm. and then uh, we just put popsicle sticks um, down the center for the body. And you could easily just put, decorate this with some rhinestones or pom-poms and this will still roll up nice and small so it will fit inside your tubes. It fits ah. in the smaller tubes and it also fits in the little bit wider paper towel um, roll tubes. Oh, one thing that we did like a little bit better about the, um, one thing we kind of thought was fun out of with the paper one, was that you can do this as a 
Why am I not rolling it? <laughs> As a magic trick. Uh-oh. We were, so if you, once you put the uh, butterfly inside, you can kind of flash the tube and it sort of looks empty. Um, and when you're telling this, the part about how the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, you could flash it and then pull out the butterfly for like a fun effect. We thought that was kind of fun with the paper ones. Anyway, I hope you guys, I hope I explained it all. Um, I hope you guys enjoy making these Goodbye. with your kids because it's super fun and easy to do. And, um, but we do have some more things we want to share with you guys. So what Malach has over here is another fun thing that the kids really, really love. This is um, I think the, oh, the just the plastic like model set of the stages of the life cycle. And um, so I recommend getting that. The kids just love it and are always pulling out. And you may have noticed this guy flying around in our video, and I'll have Malach tell you about that in a minute. We have some visitors. Do you guys want to tell about our friends right here? Oh, oh be careful, be careful, Mama. I'm going to make them shake. <laughs> yeah, I don't make them. They're going to die. We sent away, while we were doing our yeah. unit study, we sent away four um, live caterpillars. We received five. A few days ago, they formed themselves into their chrysalis, and we are going to uh, now transfer them. We were told to let it harden for three days, and then we, not we'll go ahead and show how we're going to transfer them into the net where they're going to be hatching in just a few more days, and we're going to have pretend. butterflies. Hey everybody, okay, so We're I've back. never done this before and I'm kind of nervous to do it because I don't have a steady hand. Um, this came, this came with the kit, this is like our butterfly net that they're going to hatch into. And what it says is to transfer that there's some kind of like a styrofoam or plastic lid or like disc up in the lid that they've all attached to and I'm supposed to remove it carefully without hurting them or making them fall off and I'm really scared to do this but we'll just show how it is in case you've been wanting to do this as well. I'm scared, okay. <laughs> so I open it up. Bad. I don't want to make them fall. Oh, okay. I gotta get a grip on this so I don't shake it too much. Uh, it feels like it's kind of stuck. They spit, oh, okay. Alright, that was different than I expected. This is the thing I guess I've got to, and then I'm going to pin it, oh, let me grab this, deep in. So I'm going to be pinning it oh, to the net inside them. and letting them hang. Oh, we can't touch them, buddy. They have to hatch now. Okay, oh, don't fall, don't fall. Whoa. <laughs> They're all They're hanging. Out. Oh, be I'm trying to be as careful, and this is not my forte. I should be having my husband. I see, I, I'm not going to look. Hello, you guys. Much sturdier there. You know, they spun a lot of um, webs, like almost like spider webs before the cocoon <laughs> formed. Hello, oh, yeah, see? It, that's why it's so sticky to me. You're kind of blocking the light, Malich. Can you stay back a little bit? I think we're supposed to, ew, I should have put gloves on. Pull that web oh, stuff down. Yeah. That's really gross. With my bare hands. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could touch them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I need. I yeah, I look at all that stuff falling up. Okay. That's crazy. Ooh, ew. And when they're afraid, the if, they just, if you notice this guy wiggled when they're scared, even though they're in their chrysalids, they can wiggle um, to scare off. Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this. I need they are this. wiggling. Wow, these are strong. These are like stronger than black widow webs. We're supposed to pull off all the extra. Okay, you're kind of blocking my light, so I, I, want, to sure. I want to see really carefully because I don't want to knock these guys off. I think I'm supposed to clean this better. Uh huh. Mr. Ryan, can you grab me a um, paper towel, please? A paper towel? Yeah. A paper towel? She's tiny. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just going to run the safety pin through this since there is actually a hole there. And they're all just going to still hang like this, and I'm going to pin it right inside. But I do want to wipe a little bit of this off a little bit better. It said to do that. Um, but I want to have a paper towel so I don't knock them off. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Oh, see how they're wiggling? I can feel it. Okay, you're totally black and white. Can you stand? I, I need to, Oh, see them wiggle? When they're scared, they really wiggle. They wiggled. Yeah, well, they really get, it's really, um, I wish you could feel it. If you're holding it, you could really feel it. There's a lot of force in the wiggle. It, it's not just that they're it. wiggling from dangling. I mean, they're I actually like, it. like kicking on purpose. Did I feel it? Well, let's not try to scare them on purpose. They're not wiggling now. Okay, so I'm just going to, they said a few inches from the 
Fuller. I'm not sure if that. Oh, and we're. I think we're supposed to put. Um, oh, thank you. We gotta get this to go through the net. Okay. That's it. I wonder if I should hang it a little higher. Oh, you bet. Okay. I'm so afraid you're gonna make them fall. There. See now they're hanging inside, and as they hatch, they Close will. Close the top. Yep, we're gonna, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay, we'll make a nice little, um, nice little thing. We'll put some paper towels down. Now and put think that the some mom flowers likes with some sugar water drizzled on top, and then also some fruit wedges of watermelon and oranges and things like that that they like to drink when they um, do hatch. And um, that wait for a couple of days and watch them. They will be born into butterflies, and maybe we'll catch a little bit of video to share with you guys um, when they come out all wrinkled and, the, and then they pump their wings full of blood and they get strong and they're ready to take flight. Blood. We'll feed them for a few days in here, with, um, and then we'll be letting them go in our backyard, and maybe we'll take a video of, of them flying free. Um, anyway, we're really excited. We'll share that with you um, probably over the next week. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Everybody, bye. 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 So Malesh does a read aloud every day in school and for our unit study this week we had some fun related um, read alongs that went with our unit study that I really liked. Um, the From Caterpillar to Butterfly book is a great one. Um, uh, this is a super cute story by Jack Kent, The Caterpillar and the Pollywog and I really recommend the story. Anyway, it's just a great story. And then this book he really, really loves, um, Weird and Wonderful Creations Made by God. And this has so many different um, animals and um, insects and different things, but there is a chapter in here on butterflies and it went really, really full of information that went really well with um, the unit study we were working on. So I really recommend picking up these books if you are doing a unit study. And then also, if you're looking for a good gift idea for um, any child in your life, uh, this is something I really love to give and since I'm on the topic of it, I would share it with you. I'll have Malach tell you about what's in this jar in a minute and it's really fun. Um, robotic butterfly. Um, but I like giving this as a set. I've given this to um, our nieces and um, it's a fun thing for putting it together. It's like under $50. If you give the um, butterfly garden kit um, where they can send away for the caterpillars and watch the fun in their own home and then the science reader that goes with it and then this little jar. Uh, this is a lot of fun because they get instant fun um, while they're waiting for the caterpillars to arrive in the mail and they're waiting for them to morph and, and all that good stuff. And then once they have to release them, they'll still have this. He won't die and they don't have to let him go. So just a fun idea that I'd share with you guys. Hi guys, this <laughs> looks like a real butterfly, but it, it looks it, so it's real. so real, but it's actually a robot one. And um, this is real glass. So yeah. show us what it'll do. If you tap it one, it it's going to fly. And it's, it, they're flapping. And if you flap it two times, <laughs> then it just flaps its wings. And if you okay. tap it three times, it flaps super fast. <laughs> See? And then, really um, cool. it's really sensitive. It can hear the, um, this is a um, creative thing that, thing that they made. And it's a real glass jar, butterfly jar, and it's like... A real butterfly. He's, <laughs> He's going away too bad. I can't catch up with him. Pretty cool. That's what's going to happen to these ones. That looks real, but these are real. Those are not yeah. pretend. And this is pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Look at butterfly. That's your mama. Look at caterpillars. That's your mama. <laughs> Ah, the kids want to share one more fun thing that they did this week while we're studying butterfly. Yeah. Uh, we were looking at the laminated specimens that we have on our light panel, which is really neat because it when it back when it you give back light to them, you can see a lot more detail. And what I really like about this, for especially little ones like this that aren't as um, it's kind of difficult for young children, I think, to look through um, like a microscope with one eye. It's a little hard for them to do that. This is a good way for them to, <clears throat> with the magnifying glass and the light table, to see a lot of detail without having to have that <laughs> coordination to close one eye. I think he's about ready for that now, but she's still a little bit young. So you could have a binocular. They do have binocular microscopes, but this is just fun and easy. And the kids are really excited about this, and they love looking at the specimens. Kids, would you like to share some of the details? Okay, that's when we were in a well. Okay, so, hey, who put this on? If he did, okay, not whatever. Okay, what I was going to say was, um, 
These are all the butterflies where you could see all the different kinds of butterflies. We still have more to that you, we could show you guys in a little bit. But um, these butterflies, when they're on the light, you could see the detail and see their eyes. Well, I don't know if you could see their eyes because they're probably hiding somewhere. But, um, uh, so I'm going to show you guys the butterflies. So this one is a monarch. I just know it's a monarch. These ones I don't know about. But, um, and do you know well, what's neat is all of the names of them are on there. So if I had my glasses, they're written a little bit small. Um, but it does tell you the name of each and every um, species. So which type they are. Species okay. means different kind. That's right. So I learned that in my school. You uh, taught me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, um, uh, this one, all the butterflies are bumpy. They look pretend, but they're actually real. Yeah, I do believe they, they are real specimens. I think they probably are. I don't know, but they. And the set that we bought is it's pretty cool. It comes yes. with other um, items as well. Of course, they were really excited about the butterflies, and it went with our study. But we have feathers and leaves, seeds and plants, um, flowers. If I didn't already say that, and uh, even some snakeskin in here. Mar pretty neat stuff. I think there was almost thirty of them. I think twenty-eight or something. Who is specimens. the smartest kid in the So do you guys have a favorite there. of the butterfly specimens? My that have? favorite is this one and this one. My favorite is this one and this one. Oh cool. Well we'll have to read the types that those are. And uh, anyway we thought we'd share this last thing with you. I know Thank this you for watching. Tomorrow. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Yeah. We wanted to follow back up with you guys to let you know that all five of our caterpillars did hatch into butterflies. And the so we're going to Yep, and we will be releasing them tomorrow. We've been taking care of them, and we've got them. He's probably going to start flying. Oh, look, he's on my hand. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, too. my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, he's flying. <laughs> he's a lot. But these are alive, alive. I don't mean like dead, dead. Whoa, he's the flying. Whoa. Down there drinking. I oh see. my gosh, they're so cool. Whoa, he's flying. Wait, where's this coming? Oh, he's so oh, oh my gosh, she's freaked out. <laughs> yeah, they're flying around. Anyway, we just wanted to show you guys that. Maybe we'll take another quick video of them flying free tomorrow in the backyard, which we're excited about. But we're going to miss them. them a lot. Yes, we will. But Hope at least they don't die. At least they'll go off and be able to no. hopefully have more Wait, babies lay some eggs and start the cycle all over. But I think the kids did a really good job taking Can care of them. Me? And so we're really excited. And we'll definitely be doing this project again. It was really a lot of fun. It happened a lot faster than I expected also. Um, I was expecting it to be a week, like several weeks long. And it, man, it, I think in less than a week they um, got into their chrysalis chrysalids and then I think in less than a week they hatched so I think we had them less than two weeks pretty awesome anyway we're going to be starting another project I'm going to let you want to give them a peek at what we're going to be making we're going to be making I'll these. put these guys and out of the way and you can make any kind you can make a spider spider firefly bee black widow or purple bugs or whatever you want imagine what you want to make <laughs> so we're going to be doing that doing that in a few seconds and um we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>